Hey everyone, it's Than again from Tidal Gardens. I wanted to do a short video on one of the fish that we have here called a Harlequin Tusk. In general, we don't have a lot of fish in our systems, and a while ago we did do a video on fish that had jobs and provided some sort of utility. Now I'll link those videos in the description below. This fish, however, has no job like that. It's one of the few fish that we have that we just purchased just for its looks alone. This tusk comes from Australia, and it has in my opinion superior color to its Indonesian counterparts. It has much more vibrant color, and its namesake teeth are actually blue. Tusk fish can become very tame and you can practically hand feed them. Please do not do this, it is very stupid. Those lovely blue teeth can put holes in you if you aren't careful. The harlequin tusk is a type of wrasse and is an apex predator on the reef. As such, its tank mates have to be chosen very carefully. These fish eat a large quantity of crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp, and lobsters, as well as mollusks, such as snails, clams, scallops, and mussels. They are typically non-aggressive to other fish in the tank and don't seem to bother coral at all, but for crustaceans and mollusks, they will be dead in short order. These fish can eat a full-sized shrimp in under a minute. We feed a variety of meaty foods, and the larger and chunkier the better. Krill is a great food for them, as the carotene in krill helps maintain their amazing coloration. Occasionally, we feed a full-sized cocktail shrimp from the grocery store. Mainly, this is for nutrition, but it's also for entertainment. They grab the shrimp and smash it against rocks. It's a pretty spectacular feeding behavior. Now these fish can get relatively large, so I would not recommend them for a tank smaller than, say, 100 gallons. The largest tusk I've ever seen was 12 inches long, but that's a little bit deceptive because they're shaped like a little blimp. In short, they have a lot of mass and need considerable space to move. This particular one is housed in a 300 gallon tank and could probably benefit from being in a larger system as it grows. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite fish is. Have you ever bought a fish that wasn't technically reef safe but just had to have it?